Now, a couple of, uh, before we get started, uh, let, me, let me go ahead and say this. Today is Sunday, the 19th of August, 2018. A couple of announcements. Pray, thanking the Lord for his marvelous grace. As we did earlier, you want to do that. Uh, first thing I do when I wake up is say, thank you, Lord, for, for, for waking me up to serve you today and thank him for his great mercies. Toby and Michelle here. Uh, Toby's son, Paul, and his wife, Lindsay, are here right there. Make sure. Hey, I told him when he came in, I had the message already. I said, I knew you were coming. And I'm going to talk about what you've gone through, my man. I know. See, it's a prophet. Isn't it? No, but uh, I didn't know he was coming. But, but his name is Paul, his wife, Lindsay. Welcome. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate, we tell people, we appreciate people. Some churches so big, they, they won't even know you're there. But we appreciate every soul that comes through these doors in peace. So we appreciate Toby's son, Paul, and, and, and his wife, Lindsay. Brother Larry and Fernando headed a study on Friday. Where's Fernando at? Come on and talk, tell the saints a little bit about your, your study on Friday, brother. You know, <laughs> they you. like to know what's going on yeah. there. Go on and tell them there. Well, we had an um, impromptu. It was uh, Brother Larry was going to visit us. Uh, but we were talking with uh, Brother Larry for a while now, for, for like over a year probably, just like, man, it'd be nice to have a little Bible study at our home or, or somewhere. We didn't know where to have it. But um, so then uh, they were going to visit us. Remind the saints you're you're from you're in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, from San Francisco. Okay. Two different Larrys. Yeah, Larry oh, yeah, from yeah, Oakland yeah. and Larry from oh, Gulf. Yeah, so so the, we got both Larrys uh, <laughs> uh, in the United, and then this resulted. Um, but um, but so yeah, so we we've been talking about just to have a little extension or a little satellite of NorCal Grace, or just a, a, for people that can't come necessarily over here, maybe the elder people, or or maybe people that don't understand why we would come this far. Uh, that'll, you know, it'd be like, well, let me check it out. Let me hear the message. So we compress it. Was Brother David able to make it too? Brother David was there. See, he's in the, yeah. he's in the Bay Area. Okay, yeah. good, good. So, it's a good, good thing. Yeah. yeah, so we invited, uh, so most of the people we invited didn't come out, but it was fine because it was, it was a good start. So it was like, uh, Brother uh, Ron was talking about new beginnings. So it was like a new beginning starting off to have that little satellite. So it, uh, we, we really enjoyed our time and, um, and then just getting the logistics of how, you know, everything was would work out there, but I think it's, it, it might be something that's going to be continuing, God willing, you know, and so, yeah, there was no, I, I never have coverage on Thursday or Fridays, but at um, your restaurant, just, your just, dad's yeah, restaurant, yeah, it just, um, it just started to, uh, to take shape, and so it, it was able to manifest, praise God for that, so I'm, I'm really happy, so, all right, yeah, so hopefully, you know, it's going to continue, and well, I wanted the saints who follow away there, to be in prayer for, for, right, for yeah, you guys out there, us, yeah, yeah. So we just want to have have uh, have that open to people that, that can't come out here or whatever, just they're in that area. And so you know to hear this message, but it was good. Praise the Lord. All right, that thank you, brother. San Francisco. What was that? That's in San. Francisco. Yeah, that's in San Francisco. And if you guys need to reach out, uh, you could uh, hit me up on the cell. It's four one five six three seven zero four eight seven or Fernando Miranda Rios at Yahoo dot com. So that's. It. And I put your information on oh, cool. on last Wednesday too. Okay. okay? Thank you, brother. We'll be in prayer, and I want them to know what's going on. Thank you. I mentioned Fernando and, and you, brethren, uh, when we were in Minnesota. I'm gonna give a little um, update on that. Fernando, his his special uh, ministry is taking our um, our um, uh, tracks, studies, uh, my radio studies, uh, ten minutes in a row. Fernando takes all of those and translates them into Spanish. Um, we have a high population of Spanish-speaking people here in California, and God wants to get his word into your language. That's what the gift of tongues was for. They did it supernaturally, where all these Jews who were scattered came to worship, and on the day of Pentecost, God gave those apostles the gift of tongues, so nobody can have an excuse. You're going to hear God's word in your language. Where Fernando not only takes all the tracks and he puts them in Spanish, I'm not going to even try to pronounce them, okay? <laughs> but this is the right division chart. You can see that. It's in Spanish. And this is... What, what this is our, what, what happens when I die? It's in Spanish. He does the 10 minutes in the word radio studies. He and his wife actually take, take it, translate it, and then Fernando, he speaks the words that I spoke in English. So that's a wonderful ministry uh, to do. So be in prayer for, for him and his family as they do that. And, and now this work here in uh, Oakland, excuse me, in, in San Francisco, along with the people from Oakland. It's, it's the Bay Area and, and surrounding areas. Minnesota. Let me tell you about that. We spent uh, extra days in Minnesota, but on a July 29th, which was the seven-year anniversary of our moving here to California to begin this ministry, we flew out that Sunday. What was that? Three weeks ago now, right? One, two, three. Three weeks ago, and we went to Minnesota. It was a dual trip. 
Christa's, 50, uh, Christa's parents, John and Diane, their 50th anniversary, we, went, we were there to celebrate her brother from Portland, Oregon, her brother from Minnesota, family and friends, South Dakota, Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, Texas, uh, her mother's brother from Texas. They all came in, so it was a big thing. We did stuff with family every day. That was, a, that was a, a really nice. It was really um, uh, tiring. We got tired quick. Not to mention we had to meet with all the saints back in North, uh, Twin Cities Grace Fellowship, our ministry back in Minnesota. So Brother Josh has been there for seven years. And, and um, it's a new beginning, okay? Seven is the number of com uh, spiritual completion. So we, we, we were spiritually complete as a ministry here. Brother Josh there, it was seven years. He's been the pastor there uh, after me for seven years. And then I was a pastor seven years in Chicago, Illinois. So it's really 21 years as far as where I was lead, lead, leading in ministry. And I did some, some part-time stuff as a youth pastor for years before that. But the number eight, we're, we're in the eighth year now. It's a new beginning, okay? And I'm going to talk to you guys about that. I'm not leaving because I mentioned every seven years I went from Chicago's ministry to Minnesota, <laughs> Minnesota, California. I mentioned that the last Sunday I was here on the 29th before we headed to the airport, Mark and uh, Larry, they both were like, uh, you're not going anywhere, right? I said, yeah, I'm going to Minnesota right now. We about to go. But it didn't hit me. It only hit me. We were in the airport, and Krista said, you know they think we're not coming back because every seven I go, oh, no, I didn't mean it. So, no, we're not leaving. We were happy to come back to Minnesota. I do want to say this. We were supposed to come back Friday. The Friday, we missed last Sunday, so whatever that was. Last Sunday would have been what? The, uh, the, the 12th. So we were supposed to come back Friday the uh, 10th. We get to the airport, our flight is delayed, no problem happened. F flight is delayed again, all right, that's a problem. We had an early, kind of early flight, six o'clock. Got, got pushed back to seven something, eight something, nine something. Finally, we're sitting in the airport ready to go. We hear that the, the flight has been canceled. That has never happened to us. Well, I think maybe once a snowstorm a long time ago when, when, when I visited Crystal or she visited me. Anyway, so we were like, oh, what do we do? Her parents are already asleep. They had driven, driven us to the airport. We, we had to be, stay near the airport because we were going to be on a, um, what they call a standby flight. We had to go talk to the agent. They said, well, we could probably get you out tonight, maybe tomorrow, if not Tuesday or Thursday. <laughs> because our connecting flights, there was hail damage in the Midwest, hail storms. So all these planes were being damaged, so they couldn't fly. We heard people in lines like, you're not getting out of Minneapolis till Thursday. Like, Days later, I was like, oh no. So the lady worked for us about an hour and a half. We had four flights to take, this, that, and the others. So they said, just hang around. Well, there was another woman named Carla, sweet Carla, from Phoenix, Arizona. We were going to fly to Phoenix. She heard our flight. She was stranded too. She's a, she's a, a traveling teacher. She, she trains teachers. So her company flies her all around the, the country. And she gets these points, you know, airlines points, which you can get hotels. She had thousands of points. So she heard our plight. She was talking to Jada Lynn. Jada Lynn's such a cute girl. She just let her talk to people. <laughs> she didn't want that cute girl to have to sleep in the airport. Oh, no, <laughs> for two days. So the lady was like, hey, y'all, I, I can put you right across the street from the airport in that nice embassy suite. So we were like, what? Yeah. Yes. Wow. She's so sweet, Miss Carla. So we, we uh, Jada Lynn took a picture with her. We, we're going to thank, we thank God for her. She put us in one of those fancy hotel embassy suites right across the street from the airport so we could be there for two nights and stuff. Yeah, so it was very nice. So it, 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 was, it was a long trip. It was nice to see everybody. It was tiring. But at the end, even though our flight was canceled, dear sweet Carla, just a stranger who just talked with us, you know, com uh, just talking about the, the flight being canceled, she, she put us up in a hotel. She was going to, if, if we would have got out in Phoenix, because it was the connecting flight from Arizona, she was going to put us in, a, in one in Arizona, too. But uh, she ended up doing it, so we'll never forget Carla, and we'll, we'll, we'll get in contact with her and, uh, you know, talk to her about the Lord and see where she's at. Because we didn't have, we were all just kind of waiting there to get on the plane, but anyway. So I, d I just wanted to upget, uh, update you guys. Uh, the Southern California trip is be our next time in about seven months or so. Uh, we plan on taking a trip. Uh, tentatively, we're looking at March 10th, Sunday, March 10th, 2019, as a day to hold our uh, our, 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 our it's not a conference because it's only one day, but it's, it'll be a time of fellowship with saints down there. I'll do a study and Q&A. So we'd like many of you guys, if you can make it, make it. I know Matthew should be there, my parents. But um, put that on your calendar. Rent and offering, 
We don't even pass the collection. There it is right there. That's how we have a ministry, the box. You can do it online at NorCal Grace or YouTube NorCal Grace or the P.O. Box. I'm going to read this card. We, we normally get feedback from saints who follow by way of the Internet. A lot of it I don't even give because it will be on the uh, Facebook. And somebody this morning just said, thank you, Brother Ryan, for your, your labor in the Lord. They wouldn't have this ministry if he didn't work hard to record them and process them and put them up there. It says, Dear NorCal Grace, grace and peace, may God bless you in your perseverance to get the rightly divided word out to the truth longing world. It's a world that longs for truth. Continued prayers and love, Sister Lori. So I just want to share that. People do appreciate our ministry. Sister Lori, she's down in Southern California, so we'll, we'll most likely see her uh, down there when we get down there, okay? All right, I got to make this uh, announcement. So while in Minnesota, a day before we were scheduled to leave out on that Friday, although we would come back on Sunday, the owner of this building, Amir, wonderful man, nice man, we had a relationship with him four years, he called me. He says, Ron, I said, yes, Amir, I got to talk to you. Okay, what's that about? I'm thinking of something about this. He says, um, I need the space that I rented out to you guys. If you look around here, you've seen like set up for cameras and lights and green screens and stuff. His business is expanding. And uh, we even just this past week, we got back in our mail that we had on hold. He, he's, been, he's been handing out his uh, business uh, advertisements with his face and stuff. He, he, he's expanding. So long story short, he's, I told him, said, we're in Minnesota. We won't be back till what I thought was the next day, but it was next week. But here's the point. Uh, he needs that space, and he gave us 30 days to find a new space. Um, when I got the phone call, I, I, Krista was upstairs with her parents. We, we had a, a base, the basement room. I said, well, honey, remember I told you eight is the number of new beginning? We're going to a new phase in this ministry? You know what she said? She said, Amir, call us to move. I said, yeah. <laughs> that happened four years ago when we were meeting in Carmichael, 44, 4144 Winding Way. The owner of the building needed that space, and so that forced us here, but it became bigger and better, okay? And just looking today, what's so funny is, I'm thinking, as everybody coming in, people got to sit up, we need a bigger space. So he has given us 30 days from the time we got back to find a place, and, and you know, give or take a few. Um, so we want you guys to do a couple of things. Number one, be in prayer for us, and I'm, and I'm letting the people here know as well. Uh, be in prayer for us, and we want to keep it in the corridor, the 80 corridor. So Carmichael, Fair Oaks, Citrus Heights, that area, okay, where it's easy accessible. Chris and I have been on this, by the way, since we've been home Monday, okay. We got some, in fact, after today, I got two, we have two appointments to see places. We've been on it. But we want, and my mother and buddy been on it. You got a, what that list there? You got a whole list of stuff here. Yeah. Now, because we're a church, there's some zoning issues and stuff like that. So some commercial places can work us in, some not. We've also, like Twin Cities Grace Fellowship, back in Minnesota, they're meeting at, a, at, the, at, at another church. So this older denominational church rented out a space to them. We can do that, too. We're looking at that. They're already zoned as a church. Maybe they have an extra room or two. We can uh, rent from them. We're going to find a place. We were forced out. We want to be at, Amir's a good man. He's a, he was kind of sad to tell me. He says, yeah, we had a good working relationship, but it's his space. He needs that room now. He's going to expand all this. So um, we got about a month to find uh, a new place. So be in prayer. If you're in the area, I told, Denise is not here, but she was here Wednesday. We told her, her and her husband from the area, they, they got contact. So just be in prayer. Be on the lookout some places around here. Um, we don't need a lot of space. Um, for the, if you want to give towards that, because moving expenses, because we got to move stuff. Uh, we, got, we might have two rooms, because Ryan has to have a room to do, do the work here, because he doesn't. Anyway, if you want to give, those cause people here, if you want to give towards that, just put moving expenses or, or find a new place if you want to give extra, because that's going to be a thing. We have to have, I'm sure, rent, security, all that stuff, and moving expenses. We, we, we may have to rent a truck or something, if, if, if we, if we don't, because we're going to need chairs and stuff like that. I'll see if the other, if the place we finally rent, hopefully it's a church that has some stuff. If not, maybe a mirror. He doesn't, he hardly used these chairs. I can work a deal, maybe get some chairs from, chairs are pretty expensive. So just be in prayer, thanking the Lord, but it's a new beginning. 
I didn't realize the Lord was going to bring that on that quick, but it's a new beginning. And what's so funny, I said, we need, a, you saw today, so I'm going to tell you what he's going to, he's going to provide us a bigger place, because today, it wasn't enough room in here for everybody. So the Lord, we pray, will give us even more room and a, and a, and a better place, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So uh, Chris and I have a couple appointments to see some stuff in the area, okay? Uh, it's two other churches that have some room to rent out and stuff. Maybe it'll work, okay? So be in prayer. And if you're in the area, you see something open during the week, check it out or call us. We'll check it out, okay? All right, I wanted the saints to know, be in prayer for us as well. And if you'd like to give towards uh, helping us making this big move, you can do that. All right, grace and peace. Everyone.